Warning, the following contains content intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, peeps, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die with me, your host, Zod19. Oh, man. We're coming right back in during the morning chime. I think I'm going to add, like, a little bit more fuel to this. Let's give it, like, 10 more minutes worth of fuel. Cause that's a lot of, uh, nah, fuck it. Alright, there we go. This is ten years later, and, uh, yeah, we got a lot of stuff to do today. Uh, we've got a lockpicking candy on us today, and if I look carefully, I might even remember to bring food with me today. I know, gasp, shock, horror. How could I ever do something so sensible? Um, okay. So we've got a couple of things that we're going to do today. Uh, firstly, uh, <laughs> it's so embarrassing to say, but I completely forgot about the hardened chests at the end of the city hall and the crack book and the crack book sign. These are three things that I said, that, oh, I'm going to totally break these down and then completely forgot to do. So we're going to go and handle those at the crack of dawn this morning. Uh, make sure not to hit any landmines that might be around. Okay. And I'm just going to be going through these POIs extremely quickly to get to uh, these things. Okay, so where is the stairs going up? is over here, right? Yes. No, it would be faster if I just walk. Up oh, the crib. Um maybe it won't be faster if I walk. Oh, here we go. Go through the DMV. Switch back to my wrench so I stop having that sign moving around. Uh, I gotta be over there. And go this way. Alright. Let's get all the way up on the roof. Quite literally on top of it. Wait, 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 wait. There's something this. No, it's just mechanical parts. Okay. Cause swore that gave a little bit of brass. What is here? What is here? What is you? Okay. And here's the chest. So I'm gonna break this down. Oh, it's gonna take forever. Wait. Shit. I <laughs> didn't grab ah oh, my hacker's candy. Ah! God damn it! Oh, I can pull up from like right here, and then pull up again. Okay. Oh, thank God I didn't break anything. <sighs> Want to keep some hacker's candy and no shit drops and jailbreakers on me, but I'll need that later. Alright. Let's just pull the hell back up. through the window. All right, and we're back. All right. All right. Use. Okay, gonna beat through this. I'll be right back. 
and done. All right. Yeah. What a fucking cat. Anyways, gonna take my oh shit drops and ah, uh, if I nailed that properly, I wouldn't have had to worry about the oh shit drops. Anyways, uh, let's take some gas and refuel this thing because I totally forgot to do that at the end of the last episode. Let's mud bud. All right. So that's city hall taken care of. Let's go to the crack book. After we stop here and check this uh, vending machine. This here vending machine. Grab the coffees, which are going to come in handy. Uh, do I really need eye candy anymore? Yes. Beef ration and a can of peas. All right. I'm still... I'm still cruising around wearing... Yeah, you know, plant fiber shoes and plant fiber gloves. Ugh. Ugh. I gotta get around to just getting some padded gear. God damn. I look so fucking. Yeah. Excuse me. Oh hey, there's a vending machine in here. You work? You don't work. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm past the loot stage where the uh, the mailboxes still give books, which is unfortunate because I would really like them to. Now, can I break this down? Is this even something that's possible? It's making electrified noises, so I might die. Nope. I broke it down. All right. Seven electrical parts. Not bad. All right, let's get down here to the chest and break it down finally. Okay, so it should be, yeah, this side. Okay. Now, I'm doing this for, like, the hardened steel, or the forged steel that comes out of it, so. All right, I'm going to break it down. I'll be right back. Okay. Good lord. That always takes for fucking ever. I got two pieces of steel out of that one. That hurts me. That hurts me deep, game. You're raining on my soul right now. But alright. And then the last thing that we're going to do is run over to the H&N uh, bank. Ooh. And see about getting uh, the other stuff. Let's take Crackbook HQ off of the. Oops, no, we need to do this one. And. Uh, it's this button? Yeah, remove waypoint. Okay. Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> Weird. Alright. There was apparently another uh, crackbook HP that I marked on the map that I just deleted, so that's not going to be something I'm ever going to find again. Oh. Ah, double pocket mods for clothing. Very nice. I can at least do those, but alright. So here's this. Wasn't there a ATM... Was it down this way? Yeah, right there. Wait, forgot my lock picking candy. Lock picking candy lasts 10 minutes, does it not? Yes, so use that and then eye candy. Use it. I've got five minutes left on my salvage candy as well. So I'm gonna come over here, unlock this, get the uh, the money out of it and then I'm gonna break it down real fast and then run over to the bank and do the same to the other ATMs it's gonna be great 
open 445 and break down. Okay. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Now I unlocked this one last time, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna break it down. Okay, that one's done. Let's come in here and unlock these two. Just gonna unlock them both at the same time and then uh, empty them and then break them both down. I might need to grab the other lock picking candy out of my uh, bike. Don't let me forget to grab that bookcase that's right underneath my wrench. Um, because at the very end of this is, an, is a uh, 543, 594, very nice, is a uh, A lock chest that I never opened so yeah I've got a eye candy on me and I've got a sugar butts for some reason let's put that away all right I got a thousand five hundred and something cash very nice let's break these down okay let's drop some stuff off of the bike let's move the bike a little closer all right so, need that hacker's candy. Everything else just needs to stay right there. All right. Now, this is a scrapping run today, so if you don't like watching me break a whole bunch of shit down, it's probably about the time to bow out right about now. I would rather you stay and hang out with me. You know, but uh, I understand if this isn't your kind of content. Oh, it's empty. I'm just going through, taking stuff apart. Mostly lights with a touch of uh, other stuff. Lights give a good five like electrical parts each, and electrical parts are just worth a ridiculous amount. Because they require a great amount of skill in order to manufacture in a factory. And well, this is the end of the world. There are no factories anymore. Alright. So that's room number one done. It's all the motion sensors and the lights taken out. So let's move into room number two. There are bar lights on the walls. How cl I'm not even remotely close to my next skill. Am I? Nope. Can I buy level four? I cannot. I need level five perception for that. Okay. So I have to get at least two more points. One and one. So I need three more levels to get level four salvage operations, but that's the highest level that affects crafting. So once I get that, I can just go straight into making a, a ratchet. So I'll need to start, well, I'll need to find the rest of the, uh, what does this give me? Oh, it is heavy duty and gives me nothing okay what do you got in you 15 stone I mean I'll take it would have liked something nicer game but I understand you don't want to uh, cut me any slack ever ooh that is a radiator I almost missed that. I am going to need an actual radiator at one point uh, for making a supercharger. Uh, those are not plugs. Okay. Huh. 
I guess they're like scrap iron blocks or something. If scrap iron blocks still exist in this game. It's around this side. Just another one of those blocks. Okay. And a balcony or two. Alright, let's get in here. Wait. Cobblestone. Okay. Checked you already. Grabbed that electrical box already. Oh, here's the light. Okay. Sometimes I forget just how dark this game is. Like, if I turn off my flashlight, it plunges the entire video into darkness because, uh... YouTube uh, compression algorithm is kind of intense and loves to just make everything pitch black. But also, Alpha 20 is just darker than. Uh, darker than normal. Which means most of my $2 episode is extremely dark. Which is disappointing, but, uh, you know, we don't plan for these things ahead of time. What do you think we are, a professional channel? <laughs> yeah. I wish we were. Not so much. Alright. Is there a trash can? Rude. Is this one of those fake clocks? Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's a real clock. It's just, for some reason, my game just does not want to recognize it as being existent. Is a light in here? Oh, hacker's candy wore off. Let's go ahead and use it. Let's grab that and those. I want to keep the hacker's candy going as long as. Ooh, ammo pile. That was sneaky deaky. Ah, just some crossbow bolts. Gross. Okay. What's the toilet got for me? Nothing. That means I came in here at one point. Ugh. And just did not see. Mm, sounds about right. Okay. Anything behind the painting? Nope. Oh, come on. I would say you can aim better than that, but I can't actually. I cannot. My aim is poor. Okay. My aim is poverty stricken at best. Alright. Nothing. I think I got this purse last time. Really? Okay. Yes, I did. Awesome. Sink. Nothing in it. Nothing, and nothing. That's always about what I expect from this game. Alright. Light bar in the bathroom. Spoiled trash. Damn it. Check the toilet. Nothing. Check the toilet. Paper. Trash is empty. Alright. Now it's this way, yeah, to get down. Gotta go up to get down. Oh! That doesn't even make sense in the concept. There, the uh, the thing of the song. How do I? Like getting creative is how I uh, get to that. Oh, I left all those frames on the side of the. The city hall. Crap. Oh well, I guess that means I have to make some more. Let's do about 14. Put me back at 20. Alright. Pop that. Nothing in it. Looking for lights. Don't see any. Bits of scrap. Pop that. Pop. 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 Awesome. Let's run back out. 
to the bike and start throwing some random shit into it. Alright. Well, that was easy. Okay. Back in we go. It's probably going to be the last kind of shortcut y thing that we can do for a little while. So I got to pass all the way through the. Uh, the apartment complex that's nearby. Okay. Nothing. Alright. So, we come through here. Yeah, I can break that down normally. Normally. Okay. And then through here is a torch. So pop. Like a zit. Oh, there's so many beautiful lights in here. This one room is probably going to be worth a lot of money. Oh, that's right. Did I ever... Ah, uh, it's already open. And it's mailbox. Okay. Yeah, it's just worth scrap. Just scrap iron. One of these tiny little lights. It's worth quite a bit of money. Okay, that should be all of those. It is indeed. Break that down. Pick up you, pick up you. Let's grab both of those and that. Now we move on to this side. Which doesn't have much in it. I was pushing really hard to get to ooh, the uh, the vault at the end of this POI, so I didn't really, really? Come on game, there we go. It got me on that step the second time too. That's locked. I want to kind of follow the POI the way it wants me to go, because it will take me to all the rooms anyways, so might as well just follow the path. Ah, this is worth scrap of iron, so I gotta take that with me. Although I do have a lot of iron now, especially in my uh, my furnace. You saw I had 5,000 uh, in a stack waiting to be uh, smelted down. But that'll go away very quick because I don't yet have the 300 and something uh, steel that I need for making the uh, the 4x4 truck chassis. Still need to find the recipe for the uh, accessories. Let's get rid of that annoying light. Oh, don't you do that game. That is 100% real. I can see it. If I can see it, it's real. That's what she said. It's not the win. All right. Nope. That's my bad. Come on, game. It's right there. Thank you. And then that for cloth and springs. The one thing I want from this game is a whole lot of consistency. Okay. Make it up onto the ladder. Then I'll break that down. Can I reach that one? I can. Okay. Come over here to this little kitchen. Pick up the cooking pot. Because if nothing else, I can scrap that for iron. I know I'm encumbered. I'm going to work on those double uh, clothing pocket mods when I get back tonight. I think I've got enough sewing kits for that. Unfortunately, you can't make sewing kits, which seems dumb. 
Like, it's a little piece of metal for a, a needle and, like, some cloth fragments for... Oh, okay. It took... Oh, I took it off the wall like normal, just fine. All right. Did I forget the light in here? I did. Okay. Then there wasn't a light in here because the floor collapsed. There is a light right here. Let me in. Just just let me in. Says the stalker to the uh, terrified lady. I will eat that charred meat right now. And drink this water. Nice. Okay. Coffee. I think I had like a conversation. Oh. Ah. <clears throat> Pretty sure I had a conversation uh, with y'all about the lack of coffee. Oops. In this game. But you're gonna run out at some point. You remember that one? Yeah, I do. Pepperidge Farm remembers. Um. It's gonna be fine. I, I'm fine. Ironically. I'm finding a lot of it despite my uh, low loot abundance, which I'll remind you is still 50%. And ah, I could have just come in through the other side instead of doing it like that, like an empty. Oh, there we go. Grab that. Grab that. Is there a light in here? There was. Like that. I don't think that's a plug. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not a plug. Let's come through here. Check the trash. There's that. Any lights? There is. Take that out. Take that out. Okay. Let's get in here. Come on, thank you. My looting or my uh, salvaging can is about to run out, but that's just how it do. It takes quite a while to get through these buildings. Pop that off first, then break that. I didn't check it, so shame on me. Some blueberries. I'm finding a lot of blueberries. I don't know why. I think I'm up to like 12 now. 12 and 15, which is just silly. And then if I go this way, it takes me to this apartment, which has its ceiling collapsed. Really? Okay, well, I'll just hop over then. Pop that. Pop that. I don't know what taking apart a weapons bag gives me. Just cloth? Yeah. Alright. Then, get that out of my way. That's an iron pipe. Pop that. Nothing. Alright. So, let's get back over here. And then we're just gonna go up the stairs like it wants us to. There's a light bulb up here. Not the most effective lighting source for an entire stairwell. There should have been a couple of sconces. Sconces. Let's not do that again. Uh, I think it's just dropping down. Not that hole. Yeah, this hole. Right onto that bed. I forgot how weird this section is. It like makes no sense that it would want you to drop down so far. But yep, that's exactly what it wants you to do. Okay. Some more coal. Check the 
cabinets. It's pretty much what I expect every time. It's just a whole lot of nothing. Let's eat a steak. And eat this charred meat while I'm at it. Okay. Once again, on Friday, I had uh, another allergic reaction, which it's a little too consistent for my taste. Um, so I wasn't able to record. So now, Sunday morning is when I'm sitting down and recording. I've got my coffee, I've got my wife behind me, being a beautiful woman. Ah, oh, yeah. Coffee. That's just the way things are going. This is how I'm spending my Sunday morning. Not, uh, you know, writing epic, epic sonnets and, you know, being a badass. To playing Seven Days to Die. <laughs> and trying not to die randomly to uh, bullshit. down you. that was the source of the red light really I mean all right but still it was not the cut the correct color of light to be putting off red light like that Pop that and this is the laundry room right yeah janitor's cart empty That is clearly clothes on the counter game. Some cloth. I think the needle and thread books are going to be the only way I get regular clothes. And then that light bar, and that light bar. And I think we're totally done with that section, so let's move on to the next. We're back in the bank. Making our way down to the vault. We're almost done. Fantastic. How did I not check this? Sand. And then of course I left all of this machinery here. And all of the lights in here. What is that light coming from? The strobe light effect is not my friend. Looks like there's a light behind that. I'm gonna ignore it. Hopefully it doesn't make anybody sick. I'm sorry if it does. Oh, glass was already broken over here. Yeah, the glowing is like right behind this rock. Maybe? Maybe not that rock, maybe this rock. Please look away if you have issues with your eyesight. The crib? There we go. It was a light hidden behind some rock. Anyway, get these last couple of things in here, and then we move into the pre vault area. Almost done with this POI. Which is good because it's already 17. Seriously, it's got so much HP. Oh, excuse me. So much HP! The grip! Again, this is a white bar. It should not be putting off a red light. Uh, I think... I think that's it. 
I think all that's left is to get into the actual, uh, the actual safes. All right. Now I left most of this intact uh, because at the time I did not have lock picking candy and I only had one lock pick left. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna come back here anyways to open up all the locked stuff. So I might as well leave all the normal chests empty too. Which is exactly what I did. Are these worth anything? Add just a little bit of iron. So, all right. Let's pop these open. I don't expect to get a lot out of any of these. So I'm not going to worry about it too hard. Let's use the lockpicking candy. Because i got two things to lockpick. And let's use the looting candy. Because I've got a lot of things to loot. I'm going to break down this gun safe. Uh, after I get everything unlocked. Because this is going to have some steel in it. The lock chest that's over there is not. It'll mostly be forged steel. Which, I, or not forged steel, forged iron. Uh, robotic sledge? I mean, that's cool. That's the first robotic sledge I picked up. And it'll scrap for robotic parts. So, I guess that's a thing. I really want some looting goggles. Like, really bad. Uh, a fortifying grip... Magnum ammo, lockpicks, first aid. Now, do I have a grip on this? I've got a structural brace. I think that prevents me from putting the other grip on it. It doesn't? Okay, I'm fine with that. Just surprising. Uh, nothing in the Shamway box, nothing in the lab equipment box, and nothing in the Shamway box. Expected. All right, let's break this down. And last hit. There we go. I got a decent amount of steel out of that. Four pieces. Now this shouldn't do it, right? Yeah, that's just scrap iron. Okay, I am officially done here. There's nothing else for me to get. I've looted everything, including that weapons bag that's there. There was nothing in it. So, let's go home, I guess. There's nothing else to do, except leave. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take the quick way out, which is this way. Boop. All right. Oop. Let's not forget to grab that. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Another successful uh, trip where we uh, dealt with everything like a boss. What are these? Doing? Yeah, it's just scrap iron. Oh, these parking meters. Totally forgot. <laughs> does this break down? It does. To an iron pipe and some scrap iron. I don't think that's how that works, game. Got a little park over here. With nothing in the can. Expected. Expected. But okay. Um, that's that done. I really want to go to a... Like a working stiff's tool place or a construction site and oop that's a hunter book exploding arrows I'll use it because I found it um, really want to go to like a construction site or a working stiff tools place and try to get some uh, uh, some brains some steel tool parts or some motor tool parts Mostly steel tool parts because I've got plenty of plenty of other stuff. I think at the top of this there was a crate. I know there's a big ass bell up here. See? Which 
Check this. Hit it doesn't bong. Shame. Gives you brass like it should, but doesn't bong. Shameful. Shameful. So weapons bag up here. Level 2 iron knuckles? Really? I mean, okay. I don't have anything to fight. But I'll take it, I suppose. Okay. Let's get all the way back down and go home. It is late. And I want to uh, check my inventory before I end this episode to see if I've got enough materials to make clothing pocket mods. Um, which way is home? Oh, and I should take the uh, H&N bank off of the list. There we go. Home is that way. So if I go back this way and slide through this slot, uh, I can make my way back to the house quickly. Because the house is right here. All right. Let's do that and then do this. Got a whole bunch of stuff in my inventory, so I'm gonna come in here and dump everything in my house dump chest. House dump, dump everything. I still need to get that mod for uh, inventory lock slots. I just keep forgetting to do it, which is very very sad of me. <laughs> I should take better care of that. It was a lock picking candy. Yeah. Okay. Let's come in here. Oh, close all the doors behind me. Was not born in a barn. Or on a major. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Do I have sewing kits? They would be in medicine, wouldn't they? Yes, I've got five. Okay. Double clothing pocket mods. I need two. Shit, two per one? So I can make two uh, with the amount of sewing kits that I have. And I need duct tape and cloth fragments and leather. Okay. That's kind of disappointing. I would have liked to have more uh, than just that. Come on. Those. And then I need uh, leather. And I don't have any spare duct tape. This needs to be scrapped for robotic parts. Uh, where is the glue? Do I have glue? Surely I have glue, right? Yeah, it's right there. Glue, duct tape. Let's put the robotics parts in there. Because as soon as I find the robotic drone uh, schematic, I'm going to start investing points into uh, robotics engineer. See, I've got cloth fragments on me, right? Not enough. Is this going to be one? No. <laughs> I was going to say, is this going to be one of those instances where I need way more than I have? Uh, so I'm going to need... One, and then three more, duct tape, two, three, craft, do I have a leather duster on? I do, I already have one, so I need leg armor, boots, gloves, and that's it. Alright, so I got the duct tape, so clothing. Clothing double pocket mod, two, make two of those, then those can go in my shirt and my pants, as soon as they're crafted. There's one, modify, throw you in there, complete, gives me two more inventory slots, and then this one, 
as soon as it's crafted. There it is. Throw it in there and gives me two more inventory slots. All right. And then I've got a double armor pocket mod in both my hat and my chest. So those can be brought up to level three as soon as I find level threes. Let's dump what's in my inventory and sort this. But okay. So that was... Um, Oh, Jesus. Hi. Bastard. Did it damage the floor anywhere? It did not. Interesting. Um, okay. That's enough for this episode. I'm going to go about sorting my inventory stuff and getting ready for tomorrow's episode which I think is going to be another quest day. And then the episode after that is going to be another driving around and selling everything day. So I think that's the kind of formula that I'm going to follow. Uh, it's going to be a, a uh, scrapping day, and then a quest day, and then a selling day. Unless the scrapping day takes two days. And then I won't do any quests. Yeah, I think that's pretty much how I'm going to do it until I reach max level with quests. Uh, with Wrecked. And then I might just move house up to Jen's place or out to the desert for Jen. I think to the desert with Jen would be a, a better idea because it will have all of the, uh, the desert loot and it'll have Jen which are two things I would very much like. Yeah, let's take that out of my hands for a minute. Ah, the hops were still growing. Damn it. Ruined my beer. Looks like I got a seed back for everything. That's nice. All right. But yeah. I will see y'all tomorrow. Thank you all for watching, peeps. If you liked the video, please click that like button. And if you want to see more content from me, your host, Sun19, be sure to click that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.